Welcome back. The people of Kula and other surrounding villages in the Hagen Central District of Western Highlands now have a new health post. The facility funded under the District Health Improvement Program was officially opened on Independence Day by local MP William Duma. Jack Tommy has more from Mount Hagen. The people of Kimi Kukulika, LT Pinambi, Block and the CIS tribe had a reason to celebrate the Independence Day. It's not because PNC turned 41 years, but for them, it was their official opening of the new Kuga Community Health Post built by the Haken Open member and Minister for State Investment, William Duma, under East District's Health Improvement Program at the cost of 300,000 kina. The weather was not good. But the people had to celebrate the day. <laughs> Minister Duma and his delegation at the occasion addressed a crowd of more than some thousands. When NBC National News approached some of them about their views on the new community health post, almost all of them say it was a real help. <laughs> I've been working all classroom long school, now all houses long all teachers, now I've been working all league league road long people going to a place, now M2 I've been putting power going to a community long people, now I've been most long all the young people man marry into a community long me long come me I'm a mass. I've been up to roll up by him, car now go some lot town law, sim service. So now I'm just a little girl center, come to the community, blah, 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 help me, blah. Most of the time, it's been assisting CIS, okay, the communities as well. And this is one of those the assistants, I'm sorry, give him, let him, give him. We really appreciate The erection of the new health facility was the need for entire community. The landlords had given the assurance that there would not be any land issue after all. This is a little area where minister will come work in this health center long end. Now me lose me going back to hand long and long. Then I can make him money can something I'm like to work him. I can come work him. Patients care with mothers, delivery wood and other sections all come under this new facility. But certainly no health post officer to perform the duties. Minister I'm working this building one them health center lawyer or respect time people he he like him or sem. Uh if some possibility stop health authority. And it long uh, provincial government he can put him something uh, or some sample like workman he comes or at all he can stop and it lo this uh, building that can save more people lawyer. The leaders of the tribes at the ceremony to show their appreciation had presented more than eight weeks to Minister Duma and his delegation at the end of the ceremony. Minister Duma in return had given a fifty thousand kina to the organizing committee to distribute among the different traditional singing groups and also to meet some expenses in involved in the ceremony. Jack Tame, NBC National News, Mount Hagen. The 7th Goroka Bilum Festival kicked off last week at the Bird of Paradise Hotel. The festival is now into its seventh year. It was launched in 2009 by the managing director of Jauke Bilum Products and founder of the Goroka Bilum Weavers Cooperative, Florence Jauke Kamel. The event is aimed at celebrating indigenous skills and designs of bilums, as well as protecting and preserving traditional knowledge. Antonia Mission with the details from Goroka. That festival began with bilum competition entries from the highlands and the coastal provinces. 30 bilums were selected from different provinces and were classified into two categories, natural and contemporary fiber. The 30 bilums were then judged according to their traditional designs and creativity of designs and styles used by the current generation. The Bilum walkabout of Fashion Parade in the night showcased the Mount Again Bilum dresses and the Chao Kahe Bilum products of Goruka with the telling of legends through fiber. Managing Director of Jau Kahe Bilum Products, Florence Jau Kahe, says the festival is staged to celebrate indigenous skills and designs of bilums, and also protecting and preserving those traditional knowledge. Ms. Jau Kahe adds that the festival is an opportunity for international exposure and sales for bilum viewers. There were international guests including those from the Australian Museum and Art Gallery who were there to witness the event. 
Major sponsor of the Goroka Bilum Festival is Pacific Trade and Investment based in Sydney, Australia. The Goroka Bilum Festival occurs annually two days before the Goroka Show. Antonia Mission, NBC National News, Goroka. Ward 2 councillor of Lay Urban Local Level Government wants relevant authorities to step up measures in reducing the issues associated with alcohol consumption. Carol Yowing told NBC National News that residents along the Cassowary Road and the commercial business district of Chinatown have long been victims of drunk settlers of the banana block. Ms. Yowing is now appealing to the Morbel Liquor Licensing Board to crack down on illegal liquor dealers in the settlement. Charles Kekeng reports from Lei. This section of Kasawari Road in Lei was in chaos after a fight broke between the settlers on the evening of the nation's 41st independent celebrations last Friday. That class is the most recent ethnic class in the industrial hub. Lay Urban Local Level Government War II Councillor Carol Yowing, in an interview with NBC News, says the LLG court officials and the city police work tirelessly through that night to contain the situation. I think all policemen, me talk, thank you, Lord. Lord, calm down, I address this issue. Me plow over one time inside the hub. Try and talk, talk, Lord, Lord, make him. This is kind of pipe, lo carry more weapon, na boost knife, na run you go come on top. This is a metropolitan city. The Chinatown police in Lay confirmed that a suspect from the Boimo jail mass escape was involved and instigated the fight between the Southern Highlanders and the Engans. Of course, the fight was started by David. And David is a prison escape, so he started the fight, so we found out the cause of the fight and who was involved. Chinatown police have conducted the mediation ceremony into the matter. However, the War II Councillor wants a serious action to be taken by responsible authorities. Now the time can all something am law. Come up, come up in heavy law here am law, liquor. So, me uh, like, me demand law chairman, the liquor licensing, want them or line them or the authorities of the day to come down and inspect these areas and look in. One can activity am law come up. The banana block settlement along the Bumbu River Bank is a known notorious area in the city, featuring unlicensed alcohol retailing, homebrew production and consumption, along with petty crimes to serious cases of murder and rape. An eviction exercise by the Morobe provincial government in recent years was unsuccessful after the settlers got a court order restraining the exercise. Residents of Kasawari Road and Chinatown CBD most of whom are working class and taxpayers are exposed to threats and disturbances by the settlement. We all know about Barna Block. That area is a notorious place. And plenty of high rate taxpayers are residing on. They want to enjoy their good road, the good lightings, and not to be disturbed on the way when traveling home. Charles Kekeng, NBC National News, Lee. Stay with us on NBC National News.